And still ahead, stopping sound on a microscopic level. Could this help soundproof rooms or maybe even harvest energy from a noisy factory? We'll explain the process after this short break. Have you ever had an annoying neighbor who won't just keep, keep it down? Keep it down over there. Well, they're working on new technology over at Caltech that may help you out a bit. This is not a box of pinball parts, although the metal balls and the spring... You know, they're tightly packed arrangement. Could remind you of a noisy arcade. So I'll sort of set it up, but like usually when we're actually setting up for experiment, it's a lot more involved process. Dr. Nicholas Beckler and his professor, the one popular science calls a brilliant sound magician, stumbled on a way to stop sound waves by accident. When we all realized what we had, it was incredibly exciting. When they put these metal balls together in a string and played a sound through it, they noticed something interesting. The sound acted weird. Okay, what frequency are we doing? Okay, the human ear can only detect cover ears anywhere from a low 20 hertz hum all the way up to a high 20 kilohertz squeal. The tone they're using is in that high pitch upper range. 10 to 11 kilohertz. The idea is uh, in one direction, nothing passes. It's a one-way sound wall. We should be able to scale it down. To help out with that dude over there, they would have to shrink that down into a nanotechnology that would fit inside the wall. Maybe they build the wall out of that material. The sound would hit the barrier and not even come over to your side of the apartment or the house. You'd be able to have peace and quiet over here, well, that guy's rocking out over there, but that technology is still a few years away. So this device, you could tune it to work at many frequencies, but right now it's only designed to work at a single frequency at a time. In the future, this kind of thing could possibly create electricity from sound. A noisy factory could run the lights for free. But before that happens, they got to shrink the whole thing down to a microscopic level. Till then, you'll have to deal with a noisy neighbor. Yeah, when you're trying to get to sleep or, you know, maybe even up late studying, uh, it's nice to have uh, peace and quiet. At Caltech, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. Did you get all that? Hmm? You get all that? Huh? You're going to be tested tomorrow. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was right. a good explanation. He, he's a great storyteller. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Be right back.